Hey everyone and welcome to the channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're not. So today I'm going to cover off a couple of new additions to the mission editor which includes the control of fog and the new multi-selection tool for copying and pasting in a mission. So let's see how they work now. Okay, so let's run through the setting up of the fog. Basically, at Batumi I've placed an F-16 and I'm going to go and set the fog up initially. So what we'll do is we'll go into the date, time and weather. And fog is where it always used to be, which is here. And it starts with the fog off. You've got three options with the fog. You've got off, auto, which basically is impacted by weather conditions and dew point when the mission is set up in this particular area. And then manual, which I'm going to use today, like that. And what pops up is a box which tells you what the visibility is in meters and the thickness of the fog in meters. Now then, visibility is obviously the distance that you can see. So if it's a high number, you'll be able to see quite a distance. The thickness is really the height of the fog up towards the cloud level. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that quite low, at visibility at 400, and a thickness of around about 630. So that's the first bit set up. What you can then do is check that it's synced at mission start time so that that fog level that you set there appears when the mission starts. If you wish to change this fog over a period of time during the mission, we add a fog key. And what it's done here is it said 20 minutes later, so 0800 is the start time, 0820, the fog is duplicated from the original. So what you can do is you can move that and move that if you wish. But I'm going to set it to one minute. So that's zero, one. And as you can see, it set the fog to change one minute later. Now that's quite rapid, but basically it's set up that way for me to be able to show you how this works. Now over that minute, the fog will dissipate and eventually end up with a 6,100 meter visibility and a 250 meter thickness. So let's see that in action now. And here we are at mission start and let's see what happens with the fog. I shouldn't really have to speed this up because it's only a minute later that there's dispersal. So let's see. As you can see, over the period of that one minute, the fog starts to disperse. So that's setting up fog in its basic iteration. Let me show you another option that's available to you. Now, as a mission builder, there are going to be times when you want to adjust the fog via a trigger. I'll give you an example. About three and a half years ago, I created some Mosquito missions for you chaps and chapesses to be able to fly. And in one of those missions, I incorporated FIDO, World War II Fog Investigation and Dispersal Operation, or Fog Intense Dispersal of, FIDO. It was used for dispersing fog so that aircraft could take off. Now, I mimicked this in the mission, but I couldn't actually clear the fog. So there is a chemical burn, but no fog dissipation. Well, in the upcoming campaign for the Mosquito that I'm currently creating, you'll see Fido to its full extent. So that's a bit of a spoiler, but I'll show you how to do it in this particular mission. So let's get started. Right, first things first, let's go into the weather settings. And I'm going to change the visibility to 853. And I'm going to change that to 629. I'll explain why shortly. Okay. 
You'll also note that I've actually removed the second add fog key. So that's been removed now. Let's go into triggers. So when UFC button one is pressed in the F16 cockpit, I want a flag to be turned on. So I said X start listen command, the command that's required, and the flag is called on. When that button is depressed, I said when flag is true on, do script. So let's take a look at that script. Here it is, you don't need anything else, it's just a do script. You don't need mist or anything else. And as you can see, it's a little bit more adaptable because it's relative time in seconds, which is here. So I've said five there. Visibility in meters. I said 853, which I've just changed it to in the main section. And the thickness at 629, which again, I changed in the main section. That's just so you don't get an overlap. And I've said that 50 seconds later, and bear in mind, this is more adaptable because you can use seconds rather than minutes. I've set the visibility to 4000 and its thickness to 328. And that's the script set up. I've also added a message saying that the fog will now change. And I've put in a sound file there as well. OK, let's go into the mission and let's see how well that works. And here we are in mission. What I'm going to do is I'm going to depress button one. As you can see, it says the fog will now change. And over that period of 50 seconds, the fog has dissipated. Right now, let's take a look at the multi-selection tool, which is down at the bottom of the left-hand menu bar. It's this rectangle at the bottom here. So let's click on that once, and it opens the multi-selection tool menu box. Let's start with the very basics first. I want to copy and paste all of those elements there, including the trigger zone and the drawing tool to somewhere else on the map. I'm only going to move it to the, the right hand side here just for the sake of the video. So what we do is, as you can see, all of these are blue highlighted. What we do is move the mouse pointer onto the map, depress and hold down the left hand mouse button and drag. Now, as you can see, that's selected everything. So what I can do now is press Control and C move the mouse pointer onto the map somewhere else and click and press Control and V. And as you can see, that's taken absolutely everything, copied, pasted it. So you could do that and move it onto anywhere on the map. So that's, that's simple and straightforward. What I'll do now is I will select everything here that I've just pasted and then hit the Delete key. That gets rid of it all. Right, hit the map again and that gets rid of the anchor. Now then, what I want to do is I want to only select certain elements that I want to copy and paste from this setup here. So let's say I don't want the helicopter. I do not want the ground unit. I don't want anything that's from the draw tool and I don't want to copy the trigger zone. So now what I do is repeat the action again, move it onto the map, press and hold down the left hand mouse button and drag. What I can do now is press Control and C. Move it onto the map again, left hand mouse button and control V. And as you can see, it didn't copy the things that I told it not to copy. So if it's actually highlighted in white here, those are the elements it won't copy. Now what happens if I want to deselect, say, a static object? If you had used this method, then it would deselect all the static objects. The easiest way to do it Let's get rid of that particular watchtower there. So what I would do is I would press the trash can and delete that. I would then press Control and C and then move the mouse pointer again and press Control and V. And it just pastes what I wanted it to paste minus the watchtower. 
So as you can see, it's quite intuitive. Now then, I know you'll be asking the question, what the heck does this do? This anchor. So I can select these here, and then I can uh, move the anchor by selecting Move Anchor. Paste that, let's just say, on the center there. Because what we can do is we can rotate these when we place them down. So I can move it round by rotating it. Or you can type into here the exact rotation angle that you want. Now let's move that anchor again and I'll show you something else. So when you rotate now, the rotation is adjusted. So it rotates around the center of the anchor. We'll move that anchor back again to the center point there and deselect it. Now what I'll do is I will move these somewhere else. So we'll hit move. Now check surface. Obviously you realize that check surface is linked to uh, ground units, uh, particularly things like artillery or surface to air, like flak, sand batteries, etc, etc. If they are sat on a funny angle and the ground's not level, then obviously they won't fire. So you can actually tick that box and it will check the surface for you. If you've moved it somewhere that it wouldn't be able to activate, then it will tell you with those red boxes. What I can do now is I can move this anywhere that I want around the map. Because so I've selected move. And then once I've moved it where I want it, I then hit select and then deselect by hitting the map with the mouse button. And that's how simple and straightforward it is to actually do. Now there are additions to this that are coming and as soon as the GUI is ready, the multi-selection tool will be updated. Now these are very positive improvements that are coming in the pipeline as well as what's already here. And I look forward to it as a mission builder or content creator as it gives me a lot more flexibility. And one of the things that's incorporated is a very, very welcome addition. But I'll explain that and show you that when it becomes available. Dun, 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 dun.